Hi everyone, it's Finola again from Ask Finola How. Well, it, this is Ask Finola How and this is episode 45. And today we're talking about books that made a difference in your business. And the question was this from a real entrepreneur. I'm looking for some reading inspiration to take with me on holidays. What are the books that had the biggest impact on you and your business? Okay, so I have loads to share with you because I am touched and moved and changed by everything I read. So it's difficult to say this is the best, this is the best, this is the best, because they all, you know, all you want from a book is to to plant some seed or give perspective on one or two different things. So it was hard to do this because I kept listing loads of them. So I'm going to give them to you what came to me, but it's not exclusive, I will say to you. There are many more that had an impact on me. They're not always business books, you know. So here's some. Oh, yeah. First one I want to share with you is The Surrender Experiment by Michael Singer. And it's this beautiful idea of, and this really opened my mind to stuff. And I really like uh, Michael Singer because he do, he also wrote The Untethered Soul. And The Surrender Experiment is the story of his life. And it, it's incredible, this story. It's The story is he made a choice one day to simply say yes to everything. He surrendered to what what the universe wanted for him, what would come as opportunities that might come. And it was this experiment saying yes and trusting that it would work out. Now he had some difficult points along this journey, but from where he was to the business that he created. So he is a yoga guy, a deep reflective guy, a writer who ended up creating this in entire business and industry around software, around the medical industry. It's incredible and an easy read and it will actually make you ask yourself the question of what if I said yes? That's always good in business. If you say yes, what could happen? Okay, so that's one for you. The other one that I read years and years ago and I recommend it to anybody in business, which is The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. And it talks about, and I talk about this a lot in my program, which is this idea of the path or the journey of the entrepreneur and what you can expect because I'm a real believer when you know the journey, know the journey before you take it. So it's like just having the map. It's the whole principle behind Get Strategic, behind how great marketing works. It's about mapping everything. But Michael Berg Gerber did this beautifully in the E-Myth Revisited. This is not E as in internet related, it's E as in entrepreneurial myth revisited. Check it out. Kind of think it's required re reading if you were in business and it will change your life. Another one, Finished recently, should have read it years ago, but there you go. Atomic Habits by James Clear. Really love it. Simple, great, really way, great ways of thinking about habits, how they can change your thinking, how every little step you take. So don't think about the giant leaps. Take Think about all the tiny, tiny steps that make up the giant leap and doing them consistently, 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 because that, when I'm asked about the secret of success or the magic behind great marketing, it is about consistency that builds momentum. Really check it out. Another one for you, and I'll bore you now with all of these, The Lazy Genius Way by Kendra Adachi. And I kind of, I've talked about this recently and it's really worth look, reading as well. Again, a very simple book to read. And it's just about finding the ease in things. And that is the genius way to accomplish stuff. Another one for you, good to great. That was important for me. I took some of the lessons from it and incorporated it into the Get Strategic program. And it was a study of a large quantity of businesses to see what it took to go from a good company to a great company over time. And what is the formula for that? Again, worth reading. Influenced by Robert Cialdini, really interesting. I kind of was conflicted reading this because it is about, it can be viewed as manipulative marketing in some ways. It's what causes influence, but it will give you some of the ingredients that will help you do your marketing better. Don't go the manipulative route. Just understand the kind of anthropological aspect of this of how people make decisions and how you can influence those decisions, but not control those decisions. I was conflicted reading it, but realized it's still important to know this stuff, okay? 
Purple Cow by Seth Godin, my go-to if anyone is ever asking about marketing. The Purple Cow is, and I love Seth Godin, but the Purple Cow is, you know, this idea that they're black cows, they're white cows, they're brown and white cows. But what does it take to be a purple cow? What makes you remarkable? And this idea of remarkable is worth remarking on. Again, if you're starting out in marketing and trying to understand marketing for your business, I'm kind of like, this is the first book you should read. It will change how you think about your business and how to market your business. And hopefully you'll be more positive about marketing because of it. I'm going to give you, I'm just going to list the others. They're also really good because I have to tell you what I'm going to read on my own holidays. So the other one's Shoe Dog by Phil Knight, which is great biography about uh, one of the world's greatest brands about Nike. So really read this or sorry, really, yeah, really read this. And it's also a story and I like reading stories. So this is a great story and you learn a lot from it. Another story, which is by Marty Neumeyer, which I loved. It took all of his books. It's called Scramble. He took all of his books, kind of mashed them together, threaded a story around it so that you could see how to apply all his thinking into an actual situation. And that's just a beautiful way to learn about how Martin Neumeyer thinks about brand, about growth, about all of that stuff. Really worth reading. Last two, Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. If you want to know how to write really good copy, how to reach your customers properly in terms of messaging, required reading, absolutely. Last one, and that's not the last, it's just the last on this list. They Ask You Answer by Marcus Sheridan. It will help you write better content for your website and will change how you think about how you write content for your website and how you produce content. And it really kind of leans into this idea of listening to what your customer wants and just giving it to them. Like, it's not complicated. We tend to overcomplicate it, but this allows you to sit into what your customer needs to know, and then you can deliver on that. The ones I've taken with me on holidays on my lovely Kindle um, are the following. Unshakable by Tony Robbins. A financial book right kind of really interested in this and i do like tony robbins and how he thinks about stuff um i'll let you know how i get on with it <coughs> excuse me switch was a recommendation from one of the guys on my podcast greg chukra really recommended this and it's how to change things when things get hard by chip heath and dan heath another one is scaling up how few companies make it and why the rest don't by Vern harnish you can see a trend here the things i'm really interested in and lastly, I've already started this, and this is a kind of nice, lovely read because I really love her stuff. And it's Everybody Writes by Han Handley, and I never got to finish it. So I'm going to finish it while I'm on holidays. <clears throat> My last thing for you is we're going to start a book club for the Get Strategic group. And for anybody who's uh, been involved in any of the How Great Marketing Works programs. And I'd love to hear what you are reading and what you'd like to discuss in a book club. We'll do it monthly. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your reads because I love to read because I am ultimately changed by it every time. This has been Fanola Howard. And yes, I'm on holidays for another few weeks. And this has been episode 45 and it's the books that changed your business, how you think about your business. And the question I was asked, I'm looking for some reading inspiration to take with me on holidays. What are the books that had the biggest impact on you and your business? They're the ones that impacted me but I tell you, it's not an exhaustive list. So have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Take care.